Okay, those fun iconic scenes from Indiana Jones with the plane flying across the screen and the map moving around. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to need two programs for this one. We're going to need a Photoshop or some type of photo editing software and Premiere Pro. So let's start with the map itself. Up on the screen here I have Photoshop, but as mentioned if you don't have access to Photoshop because you don't want to pay the subscription, any photo editing software will do for this portion of it as long as you can basically draw lines. I'm going to start by converting my map to sepia tone. If you don't know how to do a sepia tone, I will throw a link to a video down below. Okay. Now that I've got my map where I want it, or a little bit more kind of that antique-y looking, let's draw the lines. And don't worry too much about the whole fact that we've got this text on here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so that actually won't be an issue. If you're wondering where I got the map from, I got it off of Pixabay. In fact, Pixabay is where I've got all of the images that I'm using for this tutorial. Okay, so we're going to go from Madrid to lion to Rome. I'm going to start by selecting the line tool and then I'm going to start it on Madrid and I'm going to draw a straight line to lion and if it comes out where you, maybe you don't have any fill just go up to where your fill is and I'm doing this portion of it really quick because how you do this in a different photo editing software might be a bit different the important thing is that you're drawing lines with however you're using your lines. Now you can also do caps on the ends if you want, which is what I'm going to do for mine. So I've got my first line. Voila. Now I'm going to just do another line from Lion to Rome. And it's pretty much done. Oh, let's throw another one on here. Why not? Let's also go to Albania. Okay, so Indy had to get from Madrid to Albania, and back in the day, this is what you had to do to get there. Okay, so I've got my map where I want it. I'm going to save it just as a JPEG. Now I'm going to jump into Premiere Pro, and I'm going to bring that image file in here. And I also want a version of this map that does not have those lines on it. So I'm going to save that as well. And I'm going to just call this map 2. Okay. And I'm going to bring that into Premiere Pro. Okay, now I've got my two maps. Perfect. So what we're going to do is find our map with lines and we're going to drag that onto our project timeline and now I'm going to zoom it in to the sections that I want and this is why I'm not worried about that text in the corner good okay next thing I'm going to do is take that map the one without the lines and I'm going to drag that onto my timeline as well and I want it to overlay perfectly and I'm also going to need to make sure that my position scale and all that matches so I'm going to copy that over as well perfect okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them both onto the same layer I could do this using an opacity mask but to be honest the way I'm going to show you is a lot quicker and easier so what you want to make sure though is the one that has the line on it is the second one and the one that does not is the first one as you can see on my timeline first one no line second one line now I'm going to go over to my effects and I'm going to go video transitions and what I want is the wipe effect so you can type it in if you want or just scroll down to it like I did. Drag that on there into your transition. Click on it so that it pulls it up into your effects control here. And what you want to do is extend the duration, make it nice and long. And it's okay that it's going to play black slowly on the screen here because we can always speed this up later on if we need to. And watch what happens. Starting to look like Indiana Jones? Why yes, yes it is. So I'm going to make mine a bit longer, 
And now what I want to do is I'm just going to cut off the majority of the beginning and the end of those image clips. Delete that. Now I'm just hitting plus to zoom in a bit more. Okay, we need a couple more things to make this look authentic. So let's grab a stock video footage file of some clouds. And I'm just dragging and dropping that over the layer click on it and what I want to do is I want to reduce the opacity of it so that way I can see the map layer underneath it and let's drop it about 50% for now and we also of course need the airplane traveling from one side of the screen to the other so I downloaded another stock image and what this is is just a picture of an old Fokker airplane. The reason why I chose it is because it was a PNG so I didn't have to worry about masking out any of the anything around the airplane and make a couple adjustments to it so all I did was throw that over the other layers and I'm going to rotate it just a little bit and I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. Now if you recall from the animation in the movie the airplane does kind of do a slow move across the screen so let's just back up the playhead and I'm going to select motion and I'm going to move my airplane a bit to the left of the screen that's where I want it to start and I'm going to hit my little watch icon here and then what I want to do is move it to the end where the animation stops and then making sure I've got motion selected I'm just going to drag it off to the right so that way what it'll do is it'll just slowly move across the screen with everything else and once again, just like in the original example, the airplane is faded as well. So with that airplane, I'm going to go to opacity and I'm going to drop it down a bit as well. Okay, let's hit enter on our keyboard to render this. Now that it's rendered, let's play it. And as you can see, we have our map animation going to the background, the airplane slowly moving around the foreground, and in your head, have some music playing, and that's pretty much how we do this little animation. As always, you can tweak it, play with it a little bit, move it from right to left, any of that kind of stuff, but this is a pretty good simulation of how they did that. And if you wanted to spend some more time on it, you could get it more accurate. But these are the steps that you can use in order to get there. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks, and have a nice day.